um, y'all ever watch My Wife and Kids? It was like this episode where Michael, who was like the lead character, he was talking to his kids and he was like, what are we? And then they would say leaders. And then, and what are we not? And then followers. And then, and then he'd say why? And then the kids would be like, because nobody knows where they're going. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> to my channel my name is Ree if you're new how are you so nice to meet you and if this is your first time here get comfortable because it's a party so today I wanted to take the time to maybe just talk to you guys just you know one-on-one -on -one, people to people just a little you know welcome into my brand type session um, and at the same time I need to take all these twists because these twists have been in my hair for about a week and they are frizzy they are a bit much and it's time to take them out because I can feel myself needing to wash my hair like my hair is starting to get dirty so I've had these twists in for a week after a wash and go so I know my hair is like due for a wash day but as y'all can see I just be trying to put off wash day like because wash day I'll link my video wash day for me you know is a day so I just be trying to push it back as much as possible but I thought I could take this time to at least take down my twists and talk to you guys, you know, let y'all in. So, um, how are you guys? How are you doing? This is a particular time in our life where we just need to check in on one another. It's a very sensitive time. I'm also drinking tea because tea is life. I really know that. So yeah, I'm drinking my tea. I'm about to take on my twist. I got my little oil blend. <sighs> what did I mention in my video? I think this is castor oil, olive oil, all kind of oils. Hobo oil, avocado oil, all kind of oils. I just blend them together, put them in my little squeeze bottle, and I just get to work. The first step is like I take like a little oil, and I run it through the twist just so I can get that shine that I want. So just run it through my twist just so I can get that shine popping. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a few of the questions I got in a Q&A that I did on Instagram a while back and I've been meaning to do this video because I wanted to expand on some of the questions that, were, that I got I think they were pretty good. Um, mainly two of them I wanted to expand on so I figured why not do two birds with one stone and show you guys how I you know take take down my twist out and at the same time we can talk and expand on those questions. So it's like a two for one situation, it's really good. <sighs> okay, and what I'm doing here, just for anybody, is I just go step by step. I I just go step by step, day by day. I don't really need a mirror for this, and I just take out the twist. Like, it's just, I'm uh, getting a little frizzy. Like, she's cute, but she's frizzy, and she needs, to, um, she needs <sighs> some conditioner, and she needs a co-wash situated, but yeah. So that question was really good and my response to that was I'm afraid of basically going through my life and not doing the things that I want to do because of the opinions of others or because of like negativity or because I don't believe in myself and stuff like that like it's a no for me so like one of my things in life is like I don't want to I don't want to wake up my life is over and all my life is over but like you know the glory days are gone and I have a bunch of like what ifs and regrets like I feel like <sighs> I feel like that life alone is like not the best and then I'll just cause your your old years to be a catch-up to the period that you really wanted to do those things at so I don't want to spend when I'm older um, trying to reclaim my time this is my time now um, we don't know how long we're gonna be here on this earth sadly we don't know so my goal here with like this time that I've been given on life is that I'm trying to be as fearless as fearless as I can be while I'm while I'm here while I'm you know doing the things that I'm doing 
so that's where i stand on that question let's comment down below let me know if you agree with me or not like what is the what is the thing that you're most scared of not accomplishing in life every time i fail the neighbor's dog has a problem it's so biased so that was one of the comment down below let me know your thoughts on that i think it's a it's a serious topic um because I think, especially as millennials, we all just be going through it, trying to figure out life, trying to figure out which kind of path makes us happy and gives us, you know, oomph to wake up every morning. So, yeah. Um, so just to backtrack a little bit and just to share something about me. So, you see this knot? This is a sign that I need to trim my hair. Like, if I'm twisting my hair and I, like, my ends are, like, not cooperating, I'm going to have to trim my hair. And we don't have any salons open, so I'm going to trim my hair myself. I did it before, so I'll probably film it for you guys. But my hair isn't, my ends are being unruly. So, I'm going to have to get trimmed. But yeah so another question i had was how did i overcome the fear of being a blogger and starting that journey um and also probably my youtube i guess because that was before i launched youtube so i'll just talk a bit about that as well um but yeah <sighs> the journey hasn't been easy i think it's been a bunch of like self-discovery and things like that so my vlogging journey when did that start? Okay, so I knew I wanted to start a blog probably 2018, like maybe end of 2018. Something was resonating in my heart. I was reading so many blogs. Like I was reading blogs a day. I was constantly on Pinterest, constantly, you know, just following women who were basically living their dreams in terms of digital media. So they were either had a blog or they had a YouTube channel and I was just really stuck on those women how they spend I love those days in their lives with like content creators and stuff like that just to see how they go about their day and how they basically came to how they are to like basically came to how they are I don't know if that makes I don't know if that's English I do apologize but yeah so I basically so I basically um got like you know I started my initial interest in 2018 but I didn't pay attention to it to be honest because I didn't really know what I was doing and there was a lot of fear initially I would say I'm not gonna lie and be like I was fearless and I did that and stuff like that there was a lot of fear but I just decided that I'm thinking about doing something and I want to do it so I'm going to be afraid <laughs> and do it anyway so I'm gonna buy the blog site I'm gonna set up my blog I'm gonna take my pictures I'm gonna do the things I want um, and then if it works out for me, yay, killed it. If it doesn't work out for me, at least I can say I tried, you know. That's my thing in life. Like, at least you could say you gave it your all. At least you could say you tried. So for me, it was a lot of internal affairs I had to overcome within myself. I did not initially tell people about my blog. I don't know. I'm of the belief of, like, you don't want to tell two people. <laughs> like, I feel like if I it wasn't until months later that I actually told people that I had a blog and things like that a lot of the groundwork and the initial like first months of it I just did it all I just kept it to myself and then I found my little online friends but it wasn't until like a while I like legit I had to grow up I had to legit grow the courage to tell my friends and family that I had a blog and I wanted their support and stuff like that because that wasn't really like me I'm like I'm a person who sits in my little social media corner, my business, post little stories and go. So then I had to change my narrative, I had to find the courage to actually ask people for their support and stuff like that. And so far it's always worked out in my benefit. It's always been my good like, what the hell is that? Like what is that? What? So I had to develop a lot of courage just to tell my family and friends and the support I received was mind blowing because then it makes you feel like, girl, you gotta have this from the beginning. But yeah, y'all see, y'all see that? That's like signs when you trim, like when your ends are just like no bueno. I'm trimming my hair, y'all. I mean, this is how I feel about negative opinions. Negative opinions are everywhere. They are everywhere. 
no matter what you do i don't know if people know that but like haters it's a good thing when you love haters because haters kind of let you know that you're doing something right <laughs> so yeah like when you have haters or when you have negative opinions and when you have people just you know sharing little tidbits on your life just brush them off because chances are if the person saying something negative about you they have a lot of negative issues within themselves that they need to work through negative opinions are provided by negative people and negative people are empty and lost that's how i feel about it so when someone's kind of spewing their own negativity on you to me that's just a reflection of themselves so don't take it personally like i just feel like we are all here trying to learn we are all you know trying to lead we're all trying to forge our own paths so if someone doesn't kind of relate to your path or someone feels as though like you know that path isn't for you who are you to listen to them like who are, unless unless they are somebody of i guess great caliber that you look up to or maybe it's a mentor and that's a different space in order to maintain a positive mindset i feel like i gotta ignore the bull so I'm not gonna be focused on negative opinions and stuff like that, especially when I'm trying something new. You mean anything like when we focus on the negative, then that just lead to negative results. I'm trying to get positive results. So I need to focus on the positives. I need to focus on my circle of support. I need to focus on my friends. I need to focus on the people who actually care for me and support me. So I think when you're starting a content creation journey, whether it be a blog, a YouTube channel, a podcast, maybe you're writing a book, anything, it's so important to surround yourself with people who believe in you and people who care about you and people who want to see you excel. And then dust the people who don't. Just throw them in a the bag and throw it a bag. So like, I hope it inspires somebody just to, you know, keep going if you have something or like if you're in, if you have something that you're you do, just to keep going and keep pursuing it. Or if you're interested in doing something, just to think about doing it for real. Like if, if people are holding you back, people should never be the reason that you don't do something. Sometimes you do things for you and it won't always stick. And life has told us that history has taught has taught us that. Like everybody didn't have initial funds, like and it takes a lot of hard work and personal sacrifice at first. So if you pay attention to every, every if every time you do something you're paying attention to what others think, what others want, chances are you're not really living for you. Okay, we're gonna take five and then get back to the front. A few minutes later. Oh. I started my YouTube channel almost a month ago. Um, yeah, and I started it just mainly because sitting in quarantine kind of forces you to think and reflect and stuff like that. And I realized that like I do enjoy taking videos and stuff like that. Like as much as I enjoy writing about my experiences and my traveling, I also have like a company accompanying videos and audio situations as well. Like my IG stories and stuff like that like I enjoy making visual content as well and I just thought that YouTube would be a natural next step for me and then I also thought it would be good to start my channel now <laughs> while we're in quarantine and we are kind of confined to our houses I think this is the perfect time now to learn and to grow and to do stuff like that so excuse me that was really I've been trying to do my hair now for three hours I cannot complete it. Distractions. I get hungry. I got thirsty. I had something that I had to do. It's just like distractions upon distractions. The dog that barks. Then someone decided they wanted to do construction. It was just like hurdles after hurdles, but I'm persevering. These twists are coming out. So, what I was talking to you all about. So, I think it's all about, you know, pushing fair to the side. I think I talked about that already. I talked about you know pushing those negative opinions to the side and stuff like that um and basically especially now like as i um just enter this like this youtube life and stuff like that i just think it's important to remain true to yourself the blogging and vlogging thing for me it started off with you know just wanting to do my own blog and then getting more serious about my sibling vlogging up with my brother by hungry and then stepping into quarantine i was ultimately like i want to do a youtube channel i just was afraid to i just didn't think that i would succeed at it so i like to challenge myself so i decided just to do one anyway so yeah here we are like i don't even know if i can show you all like, can i show you like that means your hair needs to trim like my 
my ends are like entangling in each other it shouldn't be that hard to take out a twist like if your hair if your ends don't need to trim there are signs that your hair needs to trim i can do a video on it because if you guys want because i am aware of the signs and i acknowledge the signs and i do that like i don't sit on them so yeah i think i covered most of the topics i want to talk to you guys about i just wanted to you know well first of all take off these twists and then i also wanted to kind of inspire or spark a conversation in somebody just to believe in yourself whatever you're doing and stuff like that and if you feel very careful about it my advice is to do it anyway but i know that's easier said than done i know that we all have different personalities and stuff like that i'm just very um the virgo in me is very do-it-yourself type of girl so it's like Hey, Beyonce the Virgo too. But anyway, but yeah, the Virgo in me is very sort of try things now or do what you have to do now so you don't necessarily, you know, have to worry about it later. Yeah, definitely. If you have any questions for me, drop them below. If you can relate to any of maybe the topics or things I said today, drop them below. If you want to join me on this journey, Definitely, there are plenty of seats on the bus. Like, sit on the bus with me. I like that. So, I'll do this together. It's all a learning process. And I firmly believe that what's for you is for you. So, once you kind of put in your work, have some faith, do the time, you know, put up some consistency with it. Thanks. What's meant for you will take off and it will always be for you. So yeah. So that is me. Thank you so much. Um so what I did, I just puffed I just puffed out the roots and then I just fluffed it out a little bit, did a little shake, and I'm good to go. But um just thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed these little chit chat, get to know my brain, what's popping in my brain, the little QA. Um, yeah, just let me know if you enjoy these type of videos. Definitely let me know in the comments below or just hit that like button. If you um, if you want to stay a while, if you want to join the party, you should definitely subscribe. We'd we'll love to have you. There are plenty of spaces. Plus, it's free. So, yeah. Just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.